Good morning, chickadees! Today in the spider hut, we are going to show you how to draw an African landscape with a baobab tree. Are you this excited? This is our sixth try! This is our sixth try to get that intro. So, hopefully it'll work. Did it work? I think so. So we're going to be drawing an African landscape. It's a really beautiful one and it's not difficult, but it does involve a few moving parts. So, if you are starting this drawing, I do recommend that you get some colored pencils. Um, black um purple blue pink if you have it yellow or you know you can kind of riff with it and play with the colors but the black one is kind of important on this one we had to search in our drawers to find them and then also i would recommend getting yourself a q-tip or a piece of paper and a little bit of oil and i'll explain that part in a minute Okay, so we're going to be starting by breaking up our page now it's we're holding our pages like this this is called horizontal or landscape Oh, you did earlier! I did the intro earlier. So this is landscape or horizontal. And what we're going to do is we're going to break up our page. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make one line. This is for the ground. Right across. You're looking with our ground. black pencil. Oh, yes. And then we're going to make another one up here, like almost to the edge of the page. This one we're going to draw a little fainter, so lighter. So this one can be pretty dark, actually, if you want. And then we're going to do another one that's faint, and that's going to be right up here, like this. Ah, so this is the guideline for the elephant's tusk. <laughs> we already drew elephants. Ah, so okay. we're not drawing an elephant? We're not drawing an elephant, not today. Oh, well, actually you could, but I'll explain that a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the sun on our page. Now you can draw like a half a sun or a full sun. It's really up to you. So what are you going to do? Half a sun. Half a sun? Okay. I think I'm going to draw a whole sun. I'm going to make it really touch that. How dare you draw here. a full sun? How dare I? But so you have rude. the lighting and the better lighting. <laughs> okay. So I have mine. It looks like an egg rolling around, but kind of uh, does. Right? Like a like an open like a egg the inside. Now mine just looks like a circle. Thing. It looks good, but I would just pull this out a little bit more this way. Uh, yeah, cuz that line right there is a little funkadelic. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do next is we are going to draw a tree. Drawing the tree is really easy. Trees are um they're our friends. See? It's waving hello. Um, that wasn't me. Here, wait. It's waving hello. Trees are our friends. Um, they're really easy to draw. So we're going to start off drawing the tree. Now okay. what you can do, because we're drawing a specific tree, um, I kind of think of this as a baobab tree, and it looks a lot like um, little uh, like clouds. I replaced so, each other with so, the first step. So um, what we want to do, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing over there. Ignore him. Um, I know you're working the you bottom want, up, but you want it's not. We are going to put in our tree, just about here, and I'm just overlapping a few ovals to make that top of that tree. Because it's going to be in silhouette, we don't have to be really specific with what we're doing. And you're just kind of playing with this. It doesn't have to be exactly this way, it's just kind of to get that right shape for it. Good. That looks awesome. That looks a bit strange. What was that? <laughs> it's a tree hitting the roof of the spider, the spider hut. Okay, now we're going to do the base of the tree, or the trunk of the tree. Um, and what it is, this one is actually very straight. So we're going to go and almost make it two straight lines like that. You can make it go a little bit longer if you want. Good. And, and then, then you're going to put a branch off. A right. branch Yes, off. but when you do this, you want them to be rounded lines. And then you're going to thicken the branch. And then you, when you do, just try to make them feel like these are um, a little bit rounder. They're not, um, hmm, they're not like super detailed on this, especially because we're just doing it in silhouette. So I'm just kind of going in and making it like that. That's super easy, right? Yeah. Not hard. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, and we'll fast forward this. So you don't actually have to um, watch all this. Is we're gonna take our black pencils, and we're gonna start making this into. A silhouette. All right, so we have our trees done, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a shadow. So if the sun is here, the sun is here. Um, we're gonna make a little shadow, and you can just use your black pencil and just kind of throw in. I'm just going back and going back and forth. Next step: make a shadow. I'm gonna let mine actually come off the page. Uh, 
head, you've got to do the professional shadowing. Professional shadowing. And then we're going to take our black again, and we're going to do, I'm going to make some long movements, and I'm going to put the black down here. I'm not going to make it as dark as that shadow or that silhouette, but I am going to just kind of throw in some color here. All right, you good? I think that's good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our purple, so grab, I'm gonna grab, here you go, here's a purple. I have a purple. And we're gonna put that purple down um, over actually all of this. So you're gonna put your purple down. Why are we doing over, this exactly? Well, we're, make, we're making, well, we're blending. <laughs> um, and that black underneath actually adds to the value of what we're doing. So we're blending, we're making it look like a sunset. Have you ever seen a sunrise? Yeah, right? Yeah, I've seen it a couple hundred thousand mm -hmm. times. Sure. Yeah, probably not a hundred sure. thousand times, probably a couple thousand. <laughs> okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take that um, purple again, and we're actually going to put it up here. So you're going to take that purple, put it up here, Oh, so we're making a sky. With yes. an elephant to sniff. With an elephant. A sniffing elephant? Did you say? Yes. Why did the elephant not sniff the sky? I don't know. Why would what are you talking about? Anything? I don't know what he's talking about. Alright, so now I'm going to grab a blue. Let's so grab a blue. Actually, it'd be better if we had a different blue, but we'll use this one. And we're going to put that on top. So you're going, you're not just going, don't go over the whole thing. Look like over about half. And we're going to go about halfway down to just about here, on there. Oh yes, shading. Ah oh, yes, shading. In color. No, no, <laughs> I simply don't want to shade. <laughs> Wait, we're using colors? N no, we haven't used any colors uh, at all. We're that's fine. Cool, then. And we're going to take that same blue, and we're just going to put on the edge right over here. So you can overlap on your stuff here. Hey, don't poke me. I didn't mean to. Of course It you was did. the pencil. It's very purposeful and it hurt my feelings. <laughs> okay, and then the last color... Oh, we need yellow too. Alright, so we're going to use that pink. And that pink is going to be here. We're at the final countdown. Okay, so now that we're putting... And I'm going to put a little pink in here also. And I'm going to put a little pink in here, right here, right under the sun. Suddenly this looks like a ping pong ball. It, yes, all of a sudden. That's what we were actually going for. I said we are going to draw a landscape, but what I really meant to do is ping pong balls. Ah, uh, it looks like a half a ping pong ball. Alright, and the last color that we're going to do is yellow. Do we have two yellows? Dibs! <laughs> Wait a second, no, not dibs! Okay, so before he dibs, uh, what you want to do is take your yellow and instead of you know, coloring the whole thing, you actually just want to color in on the outside and it makes it look like it's glowing. So for you, you're going to do half of it, leave the center white. So you're just going to go round, around, round, around, round, around, and I'm just going to drag a little bit out this way. Right. Now you have it. <laughs> now that I've ruined it, it's yours. <laughs> no, there's no tip! <laughs> Barely get this through doing it. I'm doing it. It's very hard to do. No, that looks good. And then just add a little bit down into here and then a little bit around here. We're going super fast. If you need to pause this, I do recommend pausing it and really working on it. So now I have it like this. And the one thing I want to do before we do the next step where we put the oil on, I would take your black pencil. Actually, I took your black pencil. <laughs> I would take my Again. own black pencil. And I'm just going to go in and just kind of clarify, so like this line right here, I'm going to just make it a little bit darker. I'm going to go in on my tree, and any lines I want to like really bring out, I'm bringing out. Okay, so we finished our drawings off like this, um, and now we're going to use the oil, which is fun. Um, originally I did this with baby oil, and baby oil does work 
really well. Um, but I'm because things. you're a professional, okay, just be careful. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, but before you do it, um, I will tell you, any oil will work. I've played around with this. I I made that oil. It smells ah, good. like. Why does this smell not like oil? <laughs> this is this is actually I made this oil. It's um, it's from uh I think it's this one is almond oil mixed with mint. Okay, because so I'm like, why does this smell like mint? It's so, oil. And what the oil is going to do? So make sure if you're playing with oil, of course, like put something down so you don't ruin your kitchen table or wherever you're working. But you're gonna take your Q-tip and dip it in. You don't, you know, always start. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. There you're going to dip it in. You're always going to start kind of light. And then you're going to play with it. I like to start in the tree first. And then what it does is intensify the color. And then it also helps with the blending. My color isn't intensifying. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> what do you mean? It's gotten lighter. Um, well, then push harder. Okay. If you're having that. Well, yeah, well, no, well, like, see, I'm kind of, yeah, yeah there you go. Okay, I bent the tip it now. And you so can get, to... you can get lighter tones in there by playing with that, just like we would shade, like use a tortillion or a blending stump. You can get some lighter tones by Ooh, pushing the black. Ooh, Yeah, and you can get tone, different tones and values with it. Yours looks a lot better than mine right now. No, it looks, yours looks fantastic. I don't think you probably need as much oil. I think you need more scrubbing. And you can use it to just blend. You need scrubbing. Like, um, watch out, I'm like scrubbing the surface, like. There you go. And now you need more oil. <laughs> Yay! But this does work very well with baby oil. But if you don't have baby oil, um, we didn't have any in the house or in the spider hut. Oh my gosh, it's You can it. switch sides, you know? Never. There's two sides to a Q-tip. I'm gonna switch sides on mine. If you don't have baby oil, like we don't, we didn't have any. Um, you can use any oil. Just if you're gonna put oil. You just on repeated yourself. If you, I know. Well, I'm trying to make a point across that you don't need stuff. What did you just do? <laughs> cut the. I cut it so I could use the other side. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so your hand doesn't get gross? Oh, that's really funny. But there's like 12 Q-tips on the table, just for those of you watching at home. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna use this, and it blends for you. Um, I love playing around with new materials, but I also love playing with materials that you can find in your house. So, that's fun for me, too. And also, after you draw in with oil, you still can go back in. So if you wanted to make a elephant in silhouette, as you... Well, that looks cool. Um, if you wanted to make an elephant in silhouette... You could make an elephant in silhouette on here. You could do all sorts of stuff. You could add people, um, <laughs> other trees. Did you just notice what I did? I noticed. <laughs> oh my goodness, stop it. <laughs> That's not drawing. That's nonsense. That's nonsense and hogwash. Hogwash and nonsense? I don't know. So we're just going to push, push your stuff around on that page. Don't just work with a stick. Sticks are not as good. <laughs> yes, they are. They work just the same. And then depending on what oil you put on, like this one smells good, um, your drawing will also smell good. Isn't that neat? Oh, your drawing smells too. A smelly drawing. That's what the, all the professionals are doing. And that's pretty much it. You done? Oh, Zach, I just need okay. to do one last thing. He's almost Cut done. Cut that, and then we need to do the last thing. Take this. <laughs> Hey, no! <laughs> and it looks beautiful! <laughs> Alright, so we hope you enjoyed yourselves. And remember, just keep drawing. And he says he's going to show his feet if you guys subscribe. To so, a thousand subscribers? I don't know. Foot a, reveal. A foot reveal? At a thousand subscribers. A thousand? I don't know if we're going to make that. But um, thank you guys for watching. And remember, just keep drawing.